Lithuania, um, we will be you'll be hearing from Akil, who is the foreign startups manager for Startup Lithuania. Uh, while I'm promoting Akil as a panelist, here are some things about the Lithuania ecosystem for this year's report. So Lithuania this year is 17th globally and second in the Baltic. Some interesting industries are transportation, marketing and self marketing and sales, software and data, and also fintech. Hi, Akhil. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, everyone. Let me share my slide. Do you see that? Yes, we can see it's it. Full slide? Yes. Great. So, uh, by the way, great pictures uh, from previous um, uh, panelists. Thank you, Startup Link, for having us. And my name is Akvila. I'm a foreign startup manager at Startup Lithuania, and I'm welcoming you in Lithuania. And I'm inviting you to co-create disruptive solutions in Lithuania, because Lithuania, for a startup who is thinking not only about scaling fast, but also about a life and work balance, we believe that Lithuania is a perfect place to be and a perfect entry point to Europe. Uh, with its attractive business environment, when you can register your business in one day with e-signature. Uh, Lithuania is also among top EU countries of ease of being taxes. Uh, we are 11 globally for ease of doing business in general, and uh, we are ninth globally among lowest risk jurisdictions. Of course, with our IT save and multilingual talent pool, um, that uh, most of uh, more than 80% 5% speaks fluently English, and uh, every year we have uh, uh, around 33,000 students in innovation-related programs, so there will be no uh, difficulties to find a right talent in Lithuania. Uh, a bit about Lithuanian startup scene. So last year, 2021, was really a record year for Lithuania. Uh, our tech companies were valued more than 7 U uh, billion euros. Uh, we had uh, five exits. And finally, we had our second unicorn announced in 2022. So now we have vintage uh, e-commerce platform uh, for secondhand clothes. And we have a cybersecurity company, North Security, as our second unicorn. Of course, many future uni unicorns upcoming, a um, bunch of rising stars and uh, startups that are still bootstrapping. Our strongest startup sectors are fintech, with uh, only 55 uh, fintech companies in 2014. Now we have and we are counting more than 260 fintech op companies in Lithuania. Of course, we are really strong in mobility, cybersecurity, life science, gaming, and uh, ed tech uh, and biotech uh, are really trending the sectors in Lithuania as well. Of course, uh, our ecosystem is uh, recently booming. We are counting uh, around uh, 1,000 startups. Um, we have two unicorns. Last year, our startups attract, attracted record of investments, more than 420 million euros. Uh, also, we see interest from uh, non-EU startup founders who are using our Startup Visa Lithuania program and uh, decided to relocate their business uh, in our country. And uh, we are counting now more than 90 non-EU startups that decided to work in Lithuania. Of course, uh, how without friendly and open community, especially when a country is really small. So it's really easy to network, to meet people, um, to reach out to governmental uh, government representatives and uh, uh, the others. Uh, I don't want to go a lot of in details about fully developed infrastructure, but we totally have that. We have sandboxes, more than 20 co-working spaces, we have a, one of the biggest, uh, the biggest actually in the Baltic tech park in Vilnius. Uh, so um, one of the fastest Wi-Fi's and uh, it's really easy and uh, to develop uh, um, your startup in Lithuania. Uh, also, we are uh, globally recognized by uh, global uh, startup ecosystem monitors. So you can see here that uh, in global FinTech index, index in 2021, we are 10th. Uh, we are 16th in, in Startup Link uh, global ecosystems rankings in 2021. 
We also fourth globally by number of startups per 1 million inhabitants. And Lithuania actually rose to 60 spots uh, to be ranked 21st, 30th in the world's top emerging startup ecosystems by Startup Genome. Uh, we have a bunch of local investors uh, that are operating actually not in Lithuania, but uh, in the whole Baltics. Uh, we have um, accelerators like Startup Vice Guys, Baltic Sandbox, Seven Ventures. We have really active Lithuanian business angel network that um, uh, co-invest together with Coinvest Capital. Um, of course, a bunch of venture capital funds uh, like Practica Capital, Iron Vault Capital, uh, Open Circle Capital, and more. Uh, we have started with a Lithuania program, which is uh, a shortcut to Lithuania and the business establishment uh, for non-EU uh, startup founders. Uh, there are many benefits uh, that you get uh, if you apply for this program. You can find the application online. It's really an easy process. You just submit the application online on startupvisalithuania.com. So uh, you get EU company status and the whole access to the whole European market. Also, temporary residence permit not only for founders, but also for um, their family members. The initial capital requirement is 10 times lower. There are no specific employment requirements and the uh, Startup Lithuania is always here to help you for to integrate in Lithuania Startup ecosystem. And of course, so we have our main international startup event that I am um, would like to invite all. Uh, of course, for this year, we already had it on May 26. I hope some of them attended or watched live stream um, online. Uh, we had uh, 1,300 attendees uh, offline attendees this year and thousands that watch live stream um, on the monitors uh, by sitting at home. And uh, I all, always, I'm inviting all of you to join the, this event next year uh, because it's a really great opportunity to know about our startup ecosystem and meet all our main players of Lithuania startup ecosystem. Uh, a bit uh, shortly about Startup Lithuania, we are a governmental agency uh, powered by uh, in, in Ministry of Innovation and Economy of the Republic of Lithuania. We uh, are calling ourselves a national startup ecosystem facilitator that uh, unites all the main players uh, uh, of Lithuania startup ecosystem in one place. So we actively work um, in policy making uh, processes. We collect data about our startups and uh, always mm, uh, make annual reports about Lithuania startup ecosystem. We organize and participate in uh, many e um, tech startup events um, both abroad and, and, and locally. Uh, we promote living and startups. We organize the main international startup event startup fair that I'm inviting to join everybody. And we administrating startup visa, a streamlined procedure for non-EU startup founders. And of course, we always monitor the situation in our ecosystem. So we always try to improve and uh, offer, um, offer uh, what still is need to do, <laughs> needed to do for making a better place uh, for both foreign and, and local startups uh, develop their businesses in Lithuania. So um, thank you uh, and uh, please join our thriving startup ecosystem. Any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing with us about Lithuania. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people were very um, inspired by, by your speech, especially about the startup visa. I know a lot of entrepreneurs are going to be interested about that. Thank, Thank you again. You. Yeah, so we're